Kronos is actually addressing the energy decision in sort of two ways, if you like. First of all, we are trying to remove very hard emissions from our current operations. And this is absolutely critical. But at the same time, we're also investing in new forms of energy. And there's a lot of innovation going on right now. Gas is the perfect choice when we go into this transition. And it gives economies space to adapt to the new future. Our efforts is to ensure that our solutions are affordable, technologically advanced, and to ensure that, that it's, it's easy for, uh, for our customers to adopt and adapt. So it makes you know, uh, the transition more smoother because different jurisdictions may need a different pathway. You do not have a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. For well, Don't Slim, we are focusing into three. One is the existing asset where we'll uh, make sure that the existing asset run as optimum as possible, reduce our carbon footprint in scope one and scope two. Second is for our growth project, we will look at all the options for the low carbon footprint option for the new pro project or new growth business. And the third one is our seeding investment into a startup. This will provide future technology solution for trans uh, energy transition. Petronas embarked on a technology digital transformation a few years back. Technological innovation has transformed the way we work and ultimately it sparks commitment and inspiration across our company. For us, it also involves intensive and extensive infrastructural change to align our asset and operations towards sustainability. And even as we fuel the growth of societies everywhere, we still believe that hydrocarbons will continue to be part of the energy mix for decades to come. We just can't put it to the market in the way that we have so far. So collectively, there is an obligation for oil and gas companies to ensure that carbon is dealt with and GHGs are also dealt with in a systematic, just and responsible manner.